here we are inside my closet. Is it closet? It's a thing where you put things. And I'm standing, so this is my standing. I will show you. And my iPod goes here. Why am I explaining this? I don't know. So a year ago, probably I noticed something uh, about muscle memory. I called it muscle memory, and it didn't change so far. I didn't get any new information so far, and I wrote, the, I blogged about it on my homepage, and now I'm doing a small video about it. So the thing is, when you look up in Google or anywhere about muscle contraction, you find a lot, a lot of information about how muscles contract. Uh, and which ways muscle can contract, for example, muscle, you find about muscle fiber and actin and myosin, about concentric con contraction, eccentric, all sorts about contractions and the chemics behind it. But if you look about how muscles relax, you find hardly anything. It's, just, it's everything is about the contraction. Contractions in a multitude of modalities, but nothing about relaxation, the, the opposite, what happens after it contracted and so there's one thing I noticed uh, about myself and I was doing Feldenkrais lessons I, I hold you my hand into the into the camera so when you could do you can do the same thing when you just hang your hand relaxed like in the dead bird lesson your head your hand is hanging and then you have a relaxed position that's the relaxed position there's I don't have much tension in my hand so but when I contract it and release it and contract it and release it this is my relaxed position. But if I do the opposite, if I contract it in this direction, so I contract the other muscles, I contract in this direction, then relax it, this is my relaxed position. There must be some kind of memory. Why, why, why is the relaxed position not the same? When I do this, the relaxed position is like this. Otherwise, it's like this is a huge difference and my hypo my, my hypothesis wie sagt man das auf english my hypo, hypo so my assumption assumption is that all our movements have this kind of memory and the movements we do often they get engraved like it's a something that gets engraved in our gestalt in the way we look in the way our physical appearance is like. You know what I'm talking about? It's a very strange thing, and I didn't find any information. So if you have any idea about what's going on there, please leave a comment.